what role do you see vision, grand vision or little vision have? And what, have, what do you bring from Jane Jacobs um, to that question of who owns the decision making? Who owns the, the city when it comes to growing it, planning it, changing it? Our role is to, from a Jane Jacobs perspective, um, to achieve the vision that our client and the public gives us, um, but also to allude to the questions that the client or the city doesn't always ask us. Mm -hmm. So that you don't necessarily just go for achieving the vision, but also remember that you have to um, consider what is there already and not from a Jane Jacobs perspective, this is, she talks a lot about it in her book, that not to destroy what is there already, which is already contributing towards those, that vision. As an architectural firm, you might be engaged to look at a very large scale piece of land or a very large project that um, Jane would have opposed, but yet what can you bring to it um, that is inspired by her? And it's the mixing of uses, the activation of the public spaces. It's complicated for, for architects um, and uh, designers and landscape architects uh, because in some way the Jane Jacobs legacy is an, is an organic um, uh, an advocation for an organic way of, of things developing, of the community working from the ground ground up. I, I do think that one of the things that um, needs to be talked about is how it is that one can actually serve a vision um, and and that there are certain leaders around vision and, and that um, architects and landscape architects want, want to be at the table so it's not a totally um, ground up process um, in some way and so how we actually facilitate um, the right audience in some way, but not only let it land on laissez-faire um, is, is an issue, I think, for all of us. The thing is that the world has changed in, in many ways, and it, it's not the first time that it has, but we need each other um, across boundaries, across values, across, like, we, it, we don't have to value the same things, but we need to have this, a similar idea to what we're trying to get to. Um, and in that way, the partnerships can be leveled. They can be much more equitable. The stakes are high, you know, and I'm not going to stand on the sidelines and protest it. I want to be a part of trying to make something that can be better than what it otherwise would mm. be. So yeah, it's nonprofits, it's artists, it's community leaders, it's architects, designers, it's it, you know, policymakers, and all of those people together will help to make it successful. That's the thing that really interests me is how uh, people in the arts, how art artists, architects, visual thinkers can get a place at the table, not just by being uh, hired by a developer to do something, but you know, how could uh, the kind of insights, the ability to engage people, really begin to change the city? And after 9-11, I lived downtown, and we proposed a perimeter for the edge of ground zero. There was no room for anything that wasn't about power or money downtown at that point. We were trying to figure out a way that people could come as mourners rather than as voyeurs. There was just no way that an artist could enter the conversation. And I think that it's just cities are missing so much without having that uh, ability to communicate integrated into their lives. If you really think about you know, where Jane was in, in, the, in the 60s, I'm sure I would like to at first say, gee, I think she'd probably be happy with what's happening now, but of course she wouldn't be because she'd all be on to pushing us to do the next thing. I think that, that what is happening is that capital uh, and development is being responsive to the democratization that everybody wants things that are interesting and so on. In fact, the development community and the community, I guess I would define the community in a different way in terms of being all of us as being the, the community. And that voice, just as you look in the Middle East where the whole process of data and instant learning and instant uh, feedback is happening and that people are literally voting with their feet 
uh, and that therefore, guess what? Those people who are doing the developing want places to be successful because they're more valuable. So that the, the interest of the community, the interest of all of us in community, and the interest of the commercial, the capital markets, and I will also say, since I do a lot of work, as some of you do here with universities, they are placemaking too. So I think what Jane saw as being very important is in fact happening everywhere. It's happening in New York, it's happening in San Francisco, and indeed it's happening in that everybody, nobody wants that boring place where there are no people and so on. Mm -hmm. And I think that we can all be really excited about and are all living our lives in a way that is, we're all Jane Jacobsons. We're Jane Jacobsians, is that yeah, what we are? Yeah, yes, <laughs> well put.